Hey, this is uh, Dave coming at you. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, eSATA and eSATA P. Um, eSATA does sound familiar, you're right, um, because it is based upon uh, SATA, Serial ATA, which is the uh, common interface for internal um, hard drives nowadays. Um, we have gone from uh, the interface of IDE hard drives and IDE devices such as CD-ROMs and whatnot and uh, we've transitioned over the years um, probably eh, during the definitely during the 2000s but probably more so um, past 2005 and on in into today we've pretty much transitioned completely to uh, SATA devices now eSATA is um, external serial ATA so externally uh, serial ATA uh, what it consists of is a uh, a port that's that's keyed differently than your typical SATA internal connector which looks kind of uh, L-shaped um, and um, you know that way you can't uh, use a typical internal connector to, to try to connect your eSATA devices but your uh, your regular internal SATA devices have the L-shaped uh, uh, cable that's uh, that connects um, via your motherboard to your SATA device. Typically, that internal device needs a separate cable for for power, uh, whether it be a four-pin Molex um, uh, crossover to uh, SATA power, or just SATA power directly from your power supply, depending on what kind of power supply and PC you have. Now, external SATA it's keyed differently um, I'm going to flash a uh, picture of the difference between eSATA uh, cables and eSATA P eSATA power cables both of those are keyed differently so right here you have um, the different keyed ports for eSATA P regular eSATA and you see eSATA P is a, a little bit larger in size and uh, probably um, a different color on your main board. Mine in particular you'll see in just a moment is a green port and my eSATA port on the back I believe is red. Some other boards may be blue like this one but you can see the key differences between the two. Um, you've got extra an extra pin count on your eSATA P to provide that uh, extra voltage there. eSATA P 12 volts and 5 volts maximum 12 volts eSATA 5 volts maximum only so if you were to plug a uh, a device that required an external power device that was a 12 volt powered uh, full size hard drive or uh, some kind of full size uh, device that needed that extra power and you were to plug it into your eSATA you would get no data connectivity um, to your PC or it wouldn't function properly. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It might not damage it, but you don't want to risk it nonetheless. Let's flip the camera around and let's get to looking at these devices. I got a hard drive here. I'm going to um, connect and uh, this hard drive is going to um, be used just to transfer data to my PC and then almost immediately after it's going to be packaged back up and stored back on the shelf. Now, eSATA P is the perfect solution for uh, uh, people like myself who, who are PC technicians and run a test bench in their office and have external devices all day long that they, they have to connect, disconnect, package back up, ship out, take back to the customer, um, swap around in, in different machines or whatnot. It's, it's a lot easier than um, dealing with these internal devices that you constantly have to uh, screw to get in the cage, unscrew, unclip, whatever the, the, the uh, PC cage may be. It's just a lot more uh, user friendly to use uh, eSATA power as opposed to eSATA for a test bench type situation. So let's get to looking at some of these devices. Okay, so here's my eSATA P cable on the uh, 
device end, which in this case I'm connecting a full-size hard drive. I've got uh, two different connectors here, all made into one. The longer connector here is uh, for data, or I'm sorry, is for power, and the shorter um, width connector here is for data. On the other end, which plugs in the back of my main board, is the eSATA P main connector. And just like the illustration I just showed you, it's keyed specifically for eSATA P ports. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plugged in in the back here. Alright, so you've got um, eSATA port on the top, which is the red one, and the bottom one, the green one, is our eSATA power. So we're going to go ahead and connect our cable here. Alright, so we got our cable plugged into our hard drive. The orientation only goes one way, so you can't mess that up. Let's go ahead and power her on. Alright, drive is spinning up, so she's got power. We just got to wait until Windows comes up and recognize the drive. It might need one more reboot and we'll be ready to go. Uh, just the same with eSATA power. Shut down the computer before you disconnect it. Disconnect it uh, and also disconnect your cable and um, away you go. Uh, go on with the next project, next hard drive uh, or other eSATA P device. Uh, this has been a little overview on the difference between eSATA and eSATA P. I uh, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.